Egypt, 1942, the Battle of El Alamein. British General Bernard Montgomery's Allied forces stopped the Nazi advance in Egypt and North Africa. While that's the headline in history, Kelvin Crombie's book, El Alamein, Halting a Possible Holocaust in the Middle East, tells how God used that battle to save Jewish people. Soldiers from Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, India, and Britain uh, halted the combined army coming from Germany and Italy. Uh, but really it's a story of a, a much bigger dimension than just a military conflict. Waiting behind the German troops was a specialized murder squad used by the SS. One of the groups, the Einsatzkommando Egypt, was sent to North Africa to go in behind the German forces and to begin to uh, annihilate, to, to kill, to murder Jewish people who lived in Egypt and Palestine. At the same time, certain Arab leaders, such as Haj Amin al-Husseini, the Mufti of Jerusalem, also wanted to get rid of the Jewish people. It was fulfilling Hitler's desire, which was to destroy all the Jewish people, and at the same time, it would also fulfill the desires of Haj al-Min and other Arab nationalists, which was to destroy the Jewish national home in the land of Israel. The victory at El Alamein prevented that desire, and the Jewish leadership there recognized the significance. They just knew deep down what awaited them as Jewish people in Palestine of the time if the German-led army won. They showed their deep appreciation with a special gift to Montgomery. And the Jewish leadership itself in the land of Israel, at the conclusion of the Battle of El Alamein at some time, they presented the British commander, Field Marshal Montgomery, a gift of gratitude. It was a Bible. And with it were these words, to Field Marshal Viscount Montgomery, the gallant leader of the victorious British forces by whose hand God has placed salvation in Zion in the days of El Alamein. So they understood the significance. Crombie came across the Bible stored in a cupboard in England and brought it to Israel where it's displayed at Christ Church in Jerusalem's old city. For them it was just a Bible. But having lived here and having interviewed and spoken to so many people, I was very, very aware of the significance, the historical and contemporary significance of that Bible. Crombie says it's important for Christians to remember history. It's another part of the jigsaw puzzle, how Gentile Christians and Gentile nations, imperfect as they were, not even saying that they were Bible believers, understood the scriptures, but somehow in God's sovereign purposes, he still used them to bring about the fulfillment of his wonderful purposes. John Wagi, CBN News.